Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. We're here in front of our mega build project, the NASA Vehicle Assembly Building. And today, we're going to continue work on that. We got an awesome design that we're going to do for the other side of the American flag. And that's going to be the NASA logo and continue on the interior of this build but first things first you know what it is we're gonna go induct a new member into the hall of cosmonauts to show appreciation for you guys that watch and comment on my videos and if you haven't heard of the hall of cosmonauts it's a monument that i've built for you guys that can comment on my videos and here it is. It is three spheres that I've constructed in the Galactic Craft Space Station. And inside the spheres, I make statues of anyone who comments and requests to be in the Hall of Cosmonauts. The latest person we added was George W. And we have a new member today. And let's grab our book of cosmonauts and that person's name is Stetcher Miner. So let's go ahead and place the blocks down. Boop, boop. And we'll take this one out temporarily because it does interfere sometimes. No, oh, I need it back. Thank you. And let's go ahead and bring out our hammer to create the statue. Excellent. And let's get the spelling right. SX Gamer Boy. SX Gamer Boy. There it is. Sculpt. And let's give it some color. And there he is. He's got a cool hoodie on. Let's put the roof back up here. And let's just get the spelling right on the YouTube name. Stetcher Miner. I think it's a capital M. Let me just double check. I have the worst memory. Yeah. Perfect. So, Stetcher Miner, aka SX Gamer Boy, welcome to the Hall of Cosmonauts. Thanks for commenting. And let's get started with our content for today. We'll just go ahead and put... Oh, there's nothing to put back here. Put our hammer back. And head back home. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Let's get started on... There it is. Loading back in. So let's get started on our um, NASA logo. So, the first thing I wanted to do, we'll take a look here, and I am going to put in a picture of the actual NASA logo from the Vehicle Assembly Building right here. And now, let's get started replicating it in the world. Now, I already cut up the pieces we're going to need, so I have a bunch of wool notches red wool notches and wool corners that are going to be the stars so let's start off with um figuring out the center here so i think what we'll do we'll start off with the n right there and the letters that i've chosen the style are seven blocks high uh, by five blocks wide three four five six seven okay so that leaves one block from the top and two blocks from the bottom it's not perfectly centered but I'm okay with that and now we'll do the other side of the N uh, we should move this down I wish I could mine this faster that might actually crash us. Hmm. Let me grab a block to stand on. Some stone will do. That'll do, donkey. And 
and we'll just get a place to stand right there we'll take this out fabulous okay and continue so we'll do uh, one space over then the a Mm hmm just like that and then six down and then we'll leave like two spaces like that okay that's looking like NASA logo right yeah <laughs> oh I threw the book of cosmonauts away pick that up Anderman. all right now let's work on the S so that'll be one more space away like that and we'll do four and then we'll come up to and then we'll go four again actually no i don't think it'll look good if we do it like that let's give it a little bit of a angulation there like that angulation trademark space near 2014 And that's an S. How's that look? That looks like an S. I love it. And another A. Four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. We're not too centered here. We got one. What do we got? two and a half blocks from here and only one block from here that's not centered at all jinkies um if we bring it over one half a block then it would be two and or one and a half and two, if we brought it over a whole block, it would be two and one and a half. So it's not going to be perfectly centered, but it does need to go over half a block. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and we'll come right back and uh, show you the centered version. Okay, so we centered the NASA logo. Let's take a look. Bye bye. Now it's one and a half blocks from this side and it's two blocks from that side that's as centered as it's gonna get um but now we're going to do the little red kind of twirly aspect that we have to it um and i think we should start like here right so i'm just kind of free forming this as uh as i go looking at the picture of it let me do one more this way and then like two a little bit further over this way and like that and this goes over the letter s so we'll go like that uh-huh and then one more like that over the letter a it's kind of coming over this way then it goes up more and meets up with like the main thing like over here hmm yeah that looks pretty good now let's see this one it kind of starts off like around here and it goes pretty uh, horizontally and this goes behind the letter N so we could go like that maybe like so and then we could like pretend this keeps going back behind it so we'll go uh, like that and here this is a really like horizontal line ish it's not as vertical as the other one we'll go hmm, up a little more and now it starts getting thicker so we'll go like make it nice and thick here mm -hmm. 
Yeah, a little bit thicker. Hmm. Let me see. So yeah, it's getting like progressively thicker. And do I like this? So we have this little step, that little step, that little step. Maybe we could go for one more. Then it joins up like that. Hmm. Okay, and then kind of like this, and maybe one more like that. What do you think? Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, pres oh man, I am excited about that. Wow. All right. So there's a little bit of a like a like a round thingy that goes around like this. I don't know. We'll leave that for last because that looks really tough to do, especially with already what is going on here. But we do want to do some of these like stars here. So let's. Go ahead and get these stars going all over the place. Kind of random. It's a big group of stars like along the top. And then another group of stars. That looks like a good group of stars. And then another one will be like around here. Nice and random. Just wherever they go. And we'll do another group like below the A here. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's the NASA logo. Let's take a good step back and look at it. Guys, is that the NASA logo or what? <laughs> How about you give me a like for that one? Because, wow, I just did that off the cuff looking at the picture. And I am really proud of myself here. So, moving on to the inside here. And I have already placed the floor. And I have dug out the entire area that this place is going to take up. Look at the size of this thing. All right. Now, the really cool thing is that I built this actual building to scale. So it's the same scale as the building itself. I took the information from Wikipedia. And this is at one third the actual size. So the real building is three times bigger than this. Okay, guys? It's insanely huge. The rockets that were built in here flew to the moon. The biggest rockets man has ever made was constructed in this building. And if you've never gone to see it, it's really a sight to behold. So I went with a factory block floor, the wireframe kind, and I hid in some lighting with my favorite trick of carpenter's blocks with some glowstone underneath. So we got that going here and looking fantastic. I did it in a kind of grid like, so it gives it a good little grid. I really like my grid patterns for lighting and there are no spawnable areas. If I hit F7, oh, no spawnable areas. What do you mean space nerd? There's spawnable areas right here until the light catches up and it realizes, oh yeah, no, nope, never mind. No spawnable areas. All right, maybe there are some spawnable areas. <laughs> Who knows? This game is crazy. So, what I'm going to work on here. Now, if I did this with you guys, you would fall asleep. But I got to fill this all in with marble. And then I have to do the exterior contouring. But before that, I'm going to start working on the interior. Because this is a fun part that we could use our carpenter's blocks for. So let's go ahead and unload our wool here that we're using. 
fantastic and we're gonna load up on some stone blocks just for temporary and carpenters wedge slopes so <coughs> if you look at the interior of the NASA vehicle assembly building you'll notice there's a whole bunch of cross beams um, in the interior and these are for uh, just supports and we're gonna mimic this kind of building style or the interior of it using these wedge slopes to make a kind of X pattern so we get to this point and here we're gonna put a full block and now we're gonna go back down right alternating right side up upside down one here and then one like that put in the upside down guy right where get in there no get in there yeah okay so that's the bottom half of the X shape right and then we're gonna need another block to do the upper half so this is gonna be kind of the same thing but backwards so we get one like a so mm -hmm. like that like that and perfect so that is the third part of the X now we get one like that and we just continue building up like this it gets one more I believe and now upside down alright so now there's gonna be a floor like this this wide so this is just temporary blocks just to mock it up and we'll fill this into out here up to the wall alright so let's see how this is gonna feel so you got plenty of room to walk in and then you have these blocks like that So let's see if the floor is one block. That's against the floor. So then it'd be safe to assume we would have one block like that. Right? Huh. I'm not sure. What I'm going to do is go ahead off camera. Um, fill in the rest of this row and that side and we'll come back and figure out how we're gonna do the next floor if we're gonna what block we're gonna start it at so I will see you guys in a second all right guys I'm back and it's actually a couple days later this project has taken an inordinate amount of time but I wanted to do it right because you guys deserve this. So let's take a look at what my handiwork is inside. It's by no means done. But look at this. Absolutely huge. I did all of the X's cross beams that we worked out earlier. Filled it all in on both sides. You'll notice there's a hole here. We'll go over why later. But there's some other stuff that I want to work with you guys on camera. First of all, I want to uh, work out hiding this uh, red alloy wire. So the first thing I want to do is take out two blocks from each of these guys right here. And put them on the other side so they're like Star Trek style opening doors. I thought it'd be cooler. So I went ahead and made eight more of these uh, drawbridges. So we'll pop these guys on the other side. Get rid of these blocks. We'll need them to cover up these drawbridges as well. And it rains. Nice rainy day. 
put these guys in here. Hmm, can we do this? Ah, perfect. Alright, perfect. We could just shift click them. No problem. Nice and easy. Oop, wrong order. Pop that in there and there. Okay. The next step I want to do is get rid of this rain. Do I have enough mana? Probably not. Not enough power. Is it nighttime yet? Nope. Well, we're going to have to deal with the rain, boys. So let's get rid of this wire. Fly up here. And then I'm going to get rid of this row of aluminum blocks. On both sides. Okay, next uh, we'll put back the thing we messed up here. Great, now let's go ahead and put aluminum wire. Let's go into owl mode. Because we're going to run the wire all the way underneath here. Um, let me see, is it this one? Perfect. So let's just run wire all the way through here. And this will go right down through here. And then continue back up the other side. And perfect. And now to cover it up, what we'll do is grab our, our saw. It's in our work tool bag. Um, we'll cut up half of these into... No, I can't cut these. Don't say that to me. I can't believe I can't cut these blocks. Oh, bother. Um, hmm. What do we do then? Can we just... No, we can't put them there. We can put them like this. I don't like it. Ah, I'm going to fix it, and I'll be right back with you guys.